Hi, I'm Glenda, the Youth Services Librarian at the Salem Panola Library, and today we're doing painter's tape art. This is an example of a project that I started. I just haven't pulled the painter's tape off. We'll do that at the end. For this project, you will need a canvas. I got this canvas at the Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. Um, painter's tape. This painter's tape here, um, I got at the hardware store. It was about three to five dollars. This painter's tape I got at the Dollar Tree, it was a dollar. And you can also use masking tape. I'm going to show you a project I did with masking tape. Masking tape has a pretty good hold too, especially for a simple project like this. You'll need a paintbrush, um, some paint. I have some paint. Um, you can get paint at Walmart, Dollar Tree. Um, I'm using this old t-shirt that I was about to throw away as uh, something to clean my brush off on after I dip it in some water. And I have some water that I've been using. And that's all you're going to need for this project. So first, um, what you're going to do is take your painter's tape and make a pattern. Um, and you can make any pattern. Um, for this one, I did... Uh, lines going both ways so the the painter's tape lines are going both ways um, for this one I did with masking tape and you can see the masking tape and the masking tape is in some weird kind of windowish shape that I was coming up with and for the one we're going to do today um, I think I want to just do stripes so we're going to get started okay so for this project, we're just going to um, use our painter's tape. And I said I was going to make stripes, so we're going to make stripes. And I'm just going to make some stripes going across. Um, probably, you know, horizontal style stripes. Nothing too fancy. So I'm just going to, you know, break off a piece of tape and put it in the direction that I want it to go. And you want to make sure that the painter's tape is flat on your surface. It's really flat on your surface so it adheres to um, the canvas itself. So you want to, you see how flat that is? You want to make sure that all of them, all of your uh, tape lines are flat because if they aren't flat then the paint can seep up under it the same way it would if you were painting in your home all right and we're going to get another piece of tape and go like so but you, the most important thing is that you get it flat you can come up with any you know style that you would like to do it doesn't have to be like what I'm doing or any of the other ones that I've done. You can do whatever um, design you'd like to do. Um, I just have a pair of scissors just so I can cut when I can't break it the way I want to break the tape. You can get your pair of scissors too if it makes it easier for you. And you just want to make sure you keep it flat. Okay? And... I think I'm going to put a few more pieces on. As you can see, I've put a few more um, extra pieces of tape on the canvas. And I'm just rubbing it down just so that the tape is fully adhered to the canvas. Because I don't want there to be any lifting. Because if there's any lifting, once I start painting, the paint will seep up under the tape. And then I won't have the nice sharp edge that I, I'm looking for. Alright, so now you're just going to pick out whatever paint you want to use. I'm feeling really girly today, so I'm going to use pink. Okay, so I have a little pink paint here. And I'm going to use that. And you don't have to be perfect with it. If you want to be perfect with it, you can, but you don't have to. And you just paint 
where the um, painter's tape is not. So for this um, project, I'm going for just pink and white. And you may need to do more than one layer of paint. You know, that's fine. However you like to paint your projects, okay? And I'm not doing this in any, you know, perfect strokes or anything like that. Because perfect strokes don't really matter for this project for me. And you see why I said you need to put something down. <laughs> because I made a mess. But I'm just gonna take this t-shirt that I have here and just lay it right there on top and continue to paint. And that way I won't make such a mess. But yeah, some old newspapers would work out really well to keep your surface clean. And it's fine if your um, if the paint gets on the tape, that's fine. It doesn't matter if it does, because um, when you pull the tape off, all the paint that ends up on the tape is just gonna be on the tape, and you'll just throw it away. And you just keep on painting your picture. And depending on how thin or thick your paint is, you may have to do several layers. Okay. So I have finished painting the entire surface. I'm going to have to go over it with the second coat. And so that's going to take a minute. But I want to show you um, how the project look once you put pull off the painter's tape. So when you pull the painter's tape off, it's going to leave lines. So I'm just going to set this to the side so um, it can be out of the way. So this one I showed you with the blue painter's tape. And I'm going to pull the painter's tape off so you can see what it looks like without the painter's tape on it. So you have an idea of how your project will come out looking. And so you can see the white line available or not available but present <laughs> and you could see it's mines are a little bit wavy and I must have not um, rubbed down the painter's tape as I should have but it still has a nice looking little pattern so for a first try especially using I've never used this kind of canvas before I think it turn is turning out okay it kind of kind of looks like um a building like cityscape for a building or something So this is one that I've done and it's pink, purple, and red. It's an interesting, it kind of reminds you of an argyle. Interesting little pattern. Now I did this one with the blue painter's tape. This one was done with the masking tape. So let's see how it's going to turn out. Well, apparently the masking tape has a great hold.
masking tape look like it may have done better than the painter's tape. See the edges, they look pretty good. It looks like I didn't rub it down good in a couple of spots. But as I do this more, I'll get better at it. And as you do it more, you'll get better at it. But I think it turned out very, very good for a first time try. So this one was done with the masking tape and it looks pretty good and this one was done with the blue painters tape and it looks pretty good as well so i'm gonna let this one here dry some more where i'm gonna let it dry and then paint another layer on it and smooth out all this bumpiness i have in it but it's done for the most part so here's the one done with the masking tape. And it looks good. I think I can hang it on the wall. And this one was done with the blue painter's tape. And I like it. It can hang on the wall as well. So tell me what you think. And try it out. And post it online after you talk to your parents. And make sure it's okay. So that we can see it. Thank you guys for joining me and hopefully I'll see you guys soon in our branches at programs, painting and crafting and doing all sorts of fun things. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys soon. Bye.